We're now going to talk about the financial crisis and European recession, which Malta has weathered very well. Uh, Professor Bannister, can you tell us how your financial sector was affected by the global financial crisis? By and large, uh, I would say no effect, nil. Um, the, well, largely, everybody talks about the banks, but the banks essentially here, <coughs> they are subsidiaries of, um, of major institutions, particularly the, Austri- the Austrian and the Australian bank and the others. Um, <coughs> So, and basically, they're doing trade finance and investments on behalf of the parent. The other banks, which you might call the local banks, <coughs> uh, here essentially banking is very conservative. The banks do not borrow to lend, so there was no 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 exposure that they were over trading, etc. Uh, what happened, which is what happened in any in any country, and that's where I said well in an indirect way, so to speak, that obviously they had investments and obviously the value of the investments went down. Uh, now, fortunately, that is that is recovering. Uh, so for a period, obviously, their profitability, because the, the value of the investments, their balance sheet uh, had to be had to be looked at, but the, the situation has, uh, has improved. In the case of the funds business, we had no major major shake-ups. Uh, it was simply, obviously, NAVs went down because value of investments went down. Uh, but there were no reason why uh, specific funds collapsed or had to close, you know, same as happened in other, in other jurisdictions. Obviously, there was some reconstruction in terms of costs and, you know, funds getting more together or amalgamation. But this is what we would call a normal process. What about the economy as a whole? How was that affected by the financial crisis globally? Did it affect Malta very much? In terms of the financial sector, no effect. Uh, What about the wider economy? uh, The wider economy obviously clings on uh, to to the major major trading partners, the UK, um, (coughs) uh, Germany and and Italy. Uh, Obviously that suffered. (coughs) The government created... uh, Restructuring programs, particularly based on on training. So when the when uh, when the, when these countries come out of the recession, uh, the companies here uh, would be ready, leaner, fitter, more more competent. Because you don't train people to keep producing the same product with new machinery, but to to introduce new products and move and move forward. Uh, <clears throat> from what I heard today, that in 2009, in 2010. Tourism, which suffered, uh, obviously, because of the unemployment situations and, and the other countries, is now seems to be now coming back. But uh, I'm not fully conversant with the wider economy. Yes. And what about this year, 2010? What are the forecasts for the economy in Malta? No, what I can tell you is the uh, what we're seeing in terms of the finance sector. Uh, in terms of the finance sector, largely, because <coughs> I can... I can read it much better now through the authorization unit. In fact, I was telling people that uh, for 2010, I'm not, I'm not looking any further at the authorization because I think there is sufficient volume that is coming in that uh, we don't have to, to worry at least, uh, and that I'm more concerned about the, the regulatory development, in particular these new European institutions now, where Caesar, SEPs, and CEOPs. Uh, become authorities. Uh, we're looking at also some old legislation that had been there. For example, we have a good trust legislation which was approved by the OECD a couple of years ago. And obviously, from time to time, you have to keep to keep uh, to keep looking at this. So, myself, basically looking to spend more time on regulatory development and attending regulatory panels, uh, essentially, rather than. Uh, seeing who's coming in, who's not coming in. But obviously, uh, if I have to see people, I'm always happy to see them.